Hi, I'm Tim from Tim Moore Outdoors. I'm back to talk more sonar phone. In this video, I'm going to run you through the process of connecting your smart device to the sonar phone wireless Wi Fi fish finder. Doesn't matter whether it's a T box or the T-Pod, it connects the same. So basically, you need to have the app, the sonar phone app, which is free, downloaded on your smart device, whether it's an iPad, uh, an iPhone, or an Android smartphone or tablet. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings, then go to your Wi Fi settings. And you're going to look through the list of connected devices. Now, you obviously have to have the T Box turned on if you're going to be using the T Box, or the T Pod has to be in the water and turned on. If you don't see your device, it's because it's not powered up. You can connect within 300 feet of this device, so if you're with the device and you can't see it on your list of connections it's because it's not powered on. So make sure the unit's powered on. When you see it appear in the list, in my case it's the teapot I have sitting in a bowl of water just so that I can show you how to connect here. You're going to go to your, see to find the teapot in the list, you're going to hit it and it's going to ask you for your password. Now these units all come with the same password from the factory and that password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can change that at any time and hit join. Wait for it to connect. As soon as it connects, you're going to see the check mark next to the T box, T pod symbol or T box, whichever one you're using. Close your settings. Go to your sonar phone app. Open the app. Now, if you've never connected, it's going to ask you to re enter the password as master or slave again. But I've been connected, so I'm going to hit I agree. Then I'm going to hit connect now. And this is where it would ask you to connect. In my case, I've already been connected to it. So it's just going to start displaying all this strange information because it's sitting in a bowl of water. That's how easy it is to connect to this device. If you have issues connecting, um, try things like taking it out of the water, letting it power off, and then putting it back in the water. Try closing out some of the apps you have running in the background so that maybe the sonar phone is the only thing running in the background. If you know how to do that with, with uh, iOS devices, you just double tap the home key and then you can swipe up to close out of any of these apps that you're, that you're using. For more information on the Sonar Phone, visit sonarphone.mobi. And if you have questions or comments that you'd like me to read on one of my videos or maybe make a video around, send those questions or comments to the email address on the screen and I'll see what I can do about coming up with something for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.